that which gives value to life also takes it away. It is the profoundest truth, precisely of existence, that it is without meaning. Friedrich, Nietzsche, have you ever stared into the vastness of the night sky and felt a cold dread creep in? A sense that our existence, our struggles, our dreams ultimately mean nothing in the grand cosmic scheme. This, my friends, is the chilling truth of nihilism. But wait, before you descend into existential despair, there's another path. Existentialism, its philosophical cousin, acknowledges the absurdity of life, the lack of inherent meaning. But instead of succumbing to nihilism, it argues we must forge our own purpose. So, the question that haunts humanity, when faced with the void of meaninglessness, do we surrender to nihilism or forge our own purpose? Join us on this thought provoking journey as we explore the depths of nihilism, its counterpoints, and its surprising influence on the world around us. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. The Philosophy of Nihilism Imagine a universe, uncaring, a vast canvas painted with the vibrant colors of existence, yet devoid of any inherent meaning. This, my friends, is the chilling truth of nihilism. It's not simply the absence of a specific goal, like achieving world peace or becoming a millionaire. Nihilism asserts that life itself lacks any preordained purpose, any grand narrative dictating our path. There are no cosmic scorecards, no divine rewards or punishments waiting for us at the end. We are simply thrown into existence adrift in a sea of indifference. This philosophy, though seemingly bleak, has roots that stretch back centuries. However, it was the German philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, who truly ignited the modern discussion of nihilism. He argued that the traditional values and belief systems that guided humanity for millennia, religion, morality, absolute truth, were crumbling. These systems, once seen as unshakable pillars, were now exposed as human creations, not divine pronouncements. Nietzsche famously declared the death of God, signifying the demise of these external sources of meaning. If God is dead, and with him the absolute truths and values associated with religion, then what remains? According to Nietzsche, this is both a terrifying and liberating prospect. It forces us to confront the absurdity of existence. The realization that we are hurtling through the cosmos on a rock with no inherent purpose. But within this absurdity lies a hidden freedom. Without a preordained purpose, we are not bound by societal expectations or religious dogma. The slate is wiped clean and we are granted the immense and sometimes frightening responsibility to create our own meaning, to forge our own values in a world stripped bare of pre-existing narratives. However, the question lingers. Is embracing this freedom the answer or does the void of nihilism ultimately lead only to despair? Does the absence of inherent meaning doom us to a life of apathy or worse? Join me as we explore the counterarguments to nihilism and delve into the surprising ways this philosophy has shaped our world, from the art we create to the stories we tell. Existentialist counterarguments, finding meaning in the absurd, but wait. Before we resign ourselves to a life of existential dread, let's consider another perspective. Emerging from the ashes of nihilism comes existentialism, a philosophy that acknowledges the lack of preordained meaning in life. But instead of surrendering to despair, it proposes a radical solution. We create our own meaning. Existentialist thinkers like Jean Paul Sartre, Albert Camus, argued that while life may be inherently absurd, lacking any inherent purpose, 
This doesn't necessitate nihilism. Instead, it thrusts us into a state of radical freedom. We are not bound by predefined roles or societal expectations. The responsibility for crafting a meaningful life lies squarely with us. This freedom, however, comes at a cost. We face the constant anxiety of choice, the burden of carving our own path in a world devoid of a pre-written script. But within this anxiety lies the potential for immense personal growth. Every choice, every action, becomes a brushstroke on the canvas of our existence. Albert Camus, a key figure in existentialism, championed the concept of the absurd hero. This hero doesn't shy away from the absurdity of life. Instead, they embrace it, living with a passionate defiance against the inherent meaninglessness of existence. They create their own values, forge their own purpose, and find meaning in the act of living authentically, even in the face of an indifferent universe. Existentialism offers a powerful counterpoint to nihilism. It doesn't deny the absurdity of existence, but rather suggests that meaning can be found in the act of creating our own purpose, in the choices we make, and the way we choose to live. But is this the only way to navigate the void? Stay tuned as we explore how nihilism has seeped into the fabric of our world, influencing art, literature, and even pop culture. Nihilism in literature and art, a reflection of the void. The chilling echo of nihilism isn't confined to dusty philosophy textbooks. This philosophy has seeped into the very fabric of our creative expression offering a powerful lens through which artists and writers explore the human condition. Consider Fyodor Dostoevsky's notes from underground, a scathing indictment of societal norms and the absurdity of seeking happiness in a meaningless world. The protagonist, a bitter recluse, embodies the nihilistic view that life is inherently pointless and societal constructs are mere distractions from this truth. His voice, filled with a mix of anger and despair, resonates with the internal struggle of confronting the void. Franz Kafka's haunting novel, The Trial, portrays a man ostracized by an enigmatic bureaucracy, his guilt and punishment unknown. This Kafkaesque world reflects the emptiness and alienation inherent in a nihilistic worldview, where individuals are lost in a meaningless system beyond their control. The lack of detail in the painting, much like the enigmatic nature of the trial in the novel, emphasizes the individual's isolation in the face of an indifferent universe. Even visual art has not escaped the influence of nihilism. Edvard Munch's iconic painting, The Scream, with its distorted figure and anguished expression, captures the existential dread of a world devoid of inherent meaning. The barren landscape and lack of detail further emphasize the individual's isolation. However, nihilism isn't just about darkness. Modern art movements like Dadaism and Absurdism embrace the lack of inherent meaning, using fragmentation, distortion, and unconventional techniques to challenge traditional notions of beauty and purpose. These bold, often chaotic works force us to confront the absurdity of existence head-on. Nihilism has also found its way onto the silver screen. Films like Fight Club and Blade Runner explore themes of societal collapse. The meaninglessness of consumerism and the search for identity in a world where humanity's place is uncertain. The bleak landscapes, the dark humor, and the protagonists' internal struggles all reflect the nihilistic questioning of traditional values and the search for meaning in a seemingly meaningless existence. 
These are just a few examples of how nihilism has shaped art and literature. It provides a powerful tool for exploring themes of alienation, despair, and the search for meaning in a seemingly meaningless world. But is nihilism solely a force for darkness? Stay tuned as we explore the surprising ways it has influenced modern culture and how it might even offer a path forward. Nihilistic arguments in modern culture, a looming shadow or a catalyst for change. Nihilism isn't just a relic of dusty tomes. Its chilling questions about life's purpose echo through the corridors of modern culture, from the films we watch to the shows we binge. Take the wildly popular animated series, Rick and Morty. While wrapped in a cloak of dark humor and sci-fi adventure, the show's cynical protagonist, Rick Sanchez, embodies a nihilistic outlook. He views existence as inherently meaningless, a vast cosmic joke with no grand purpose. His actions, often reckless and destructive, reflect a sense of apathy towards a universe he deems indifferent. Similarly, shows like True Detective delve into the darker side of the human condition. Gripping narratives featuring flawed characters, grappling with existential questions and a sense of cosmic insignificance, paint a picture of a world devoid of inherent meaning. These portrayals can be unsettling, forcing viewers to confront the uncomfortable possibility that life may truly be meaningless. But is the impact of nihilism in popular culture solely negative? These portrayals can spark important conversations about meaning, purpose, and the very nature of existence. They can challenge viewers to grapple with the absurdity of life and potentially inspire a search for meaning outside of traditional sources. Perhaps by confronting the void, we are forced to actively create our own purpose, to fight for the things we believe in, even in a seemingly indifferent universe. The rise of nihilistic themes in modern culture may not be a cause for despair, but rather a reflection of a questioning and introspective generation. It highlights a yearning for meaning in a world where traditional values are crumbling and perhaps within this nihilistic questioning lies the potential for positive change. After all, if life truly has no inherent meaning, then the responsibility to create it falls squarely on our shoulders. The dichotomy, nihilistic surrender versus embracing the absurd. So far, we've explored the chilling void of nihilism and the counterpoint of existentialism urging us to create our own meaning. But the question remains, do we succumb to the despair of a meaningless existence or forge a path forward despite the absurdity? On one hand, nihilism offers a seductive simplicity. If life has no inherent purpose, why struggle? Why chase achievements or fight for a better world? This path can lead to apathy a sense of resignation and a loss of motivation. History is filled with examples of those who embraced this nihilistic outlook. Diogenes of Sinope, a Greek philosopher, famously rejected societal norms. Living a life of austerity and cynicism, his message, though often humorous, reflected a belief in the futility of human endeavors. However, Surrendering to nihilism doesn't have to be the only option. Existentialism offers a more hopeful path. By acknowledging the absurdity of life, we are free to create our own meaning, to define our own values, and to actively engage with the world. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist, is a powerful example of this approach. Frankl, even in the face of unimaginable suffering, found meaning in human connection and the pursuit of purpose. 
His work highlights the human capacity to create meaning, even in the darkest of circumstances. Ultimately, the choice between succumbing to nihilism or embracing the absurd is a personal one. There's no single correct answer. Nihilism can be a lens for understanding the universe, while existentialism offers a framework for living a meaningful life within that universe. The key takeaway, life may be inherently absurd, lacking a preordained script. But within this absurdity lies immense potential. We have the freedom to create, to love, to fight for what we believe in, and to leave our mark on the world. The human experience, in all its messy glory, is ultimately what we make of it. Finding purpose in absurdity, embracing the dance. So, we've stared into the void, and it stared back. But here's the thing. The void doesn't have to win. Even in the face of life's inherent absurdity, we have the power to create meaning, to find purpose in the everyday dance of existence. The first step is to acknowledge the freedom that absurdity offers. We are not bound by predetermined scripts or cosmic expectations. The world is our canvas, and the brushstrokes of meaning are entirely up to us. Finding purpose can start with the simplest acts. Connecting with loved ones, pursuing a passion project, helping those in need. These seemingly small actions can ripple outwards, creating meaning not just for ourselves, but for the world around us. However, navigating the absurd doesn't require constant positivity. It's okay to acknowledge the darkness, the moments of doubt and despair. Life isn't a never-ending highlight reel. By accepting the full spectrum of human experience, joy, sorrow, anger, love, we can create a more authentic and meaningful existence. Maintaining optimism in the face of absurdity requires a shift in perspective. Focus on the journey, not the destination. Embrace the small wins, the unexpected connections, the beauty that surrounds us every day. Activities like meditation, spending time in nature, or simply practicing gratitude can help us cultivate a sense of peace and purpose within the grand cosmic joke. Ultimately, finding meaning in the absurd is about creating a life that resonates with us. It's about forging connections, pursuing passions, and leaving a positive mark on the world, however big or small. The universe may be indifferent, but we don't have to be. Embrace the absurdity. Create your purpose. Live a life that matters. Dancing in the void, we've embarked on a journey through the stark expanse of nihilism, a philosophy that confronts us with the unnerving possibility that life has no inherent meaning. We've explored how this chilling concept has permeated art, literature, and even popular culture, echoing our own anxieties about our place in the universe. But the story doesn't end there. Existentialism offers a powerful counterpoint, urging us to embrace the freedom inherent in the absurd. We are free to define our own values, to create our own purpose, and to carve our own path through the vast unknown whether you choose to find meaning in connection, creativity, or simply experiencing the richness of the human condition, the choice is yours. The universe may be indifferent, but we don't have to be. Life, in all its absurdity, is ultimately a gift, a chance to laugh, to love, to create, and to leave a mark on the world. So, embrace the dance, the beautiful, messy, exhilarating dance of existence. Find your rhythm, your purpose, and make your own music in the grand cosmic symphony.